What up, guys? It's your boy Dak Gamer, and I am back with some more gameplay, doing some multiplayer gameplay of Destiny. And you know, I do multiplayer gameplay because I love to do the multiplayer gameplay because I love to do that. Yes, I did say that. Don't even try to judge me, okay? Guys, thanks for really tuning in to your number one source of multiplayer gaming. Dead series. That's all I do, and I'm really good at it. If you want to play with me, make sure you do send me a friend request. The underscore sorrow underscore gamer on PlayStation Four and as well PlayStation Three, of course, guys. And on Xbox, um, it's the sorrow game. Just on no underscores and no R at the end. <laughs> so, guys, I have to say, Destiny looks really gorgeous. Um, I love playing the game. I have no problem with this game at all so far. A lot of people complain that it's like, are you serious? Come on. What? Come on. Seriously? I'm a comeback for you. Don't worry about that. A lot of people complain that it's going to be just like Halo, or it looks just like Halo, and it plays just like Halo. From a person that used to play Halo 1, 2, or 3 quite a lot, um, I can see there's a little concept right there, but I'm telling you guys, it doesn't feel like a Halo. It really doesn't. It feels completely different from Halo. The game mechanisms feel com on completely different. Yes, they might use that concept, but... What games doesn't do that today? Seriously, what games doesn't? You know, you have a lot of first-person shooters that try to simplify the concept of Call of Duty, but it's not a Call of Duty game. And although it is made by Bungie, does it make it sound of kind of sort of a how can I put it? Doesn't it make it a, a dag on Halo type. But this being an RPG out RPG style type of game, I'm gonna give you my overall opinion about the multiplayer. The multiplayer is pretty fun. Yes, you might see people running around with different weapons that can drop you with no time, but then at the same time, to be honest, it takes skill. This is not one of those games that you get the most powerful weapon and you can run around and go blasting on everybody and do good. No, it takes teamwork and it takes a, quite a lot of skill. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you look at the character I'm playing with now, um, that gun that he has basically is pretty weak, but then I'm dropping people like it's nothing because one, I'm shooting him in the head, so I'm getting close to headshots, and two, I'm being kind of consistent with it and I'm moving around quite a lot. Uh, I have played on teams that with people that kind of sucked at the game, and to be honest, you lose a lot. You you really do. You you lose a bunch. Like no matter how good the no matter how good you are, the team lost. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Do you care about your KD or do you care about winning? And in this game, they don't even tell you how many deaths you have. They tell you your KD and control. So. Again, me personally, it takes teamwork, and you have to be kind of good at this game. So, if you love games that takes a good gun game, you're going to love this game. So, another thing about this game that I quite love is that I love multiplayer gameplays with high replay value. Now, i give you a prime example of a game that has very, 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 very low replay value every year and it went down for example i y'all know i'm gonna say call of duty and i'm gonna tell you why look at how call of duty 4 started off you know you couldn't unlock the weapons until you got to a certain level or did certain things you couldn't unlock camo unless you did a set of certain things you look at modern warfare 2 and follow that same example you look at call of duty uh you know you look at all these different call of duties and it happens right after world at war uh, when it came to Black Ops, that's when it kind of fell down. It kind of just relied. Boom! Got him. Okay. It kind of just relied strictly on. Um, how can I put it? Like you gaining money and you unlocking weapons. I think that messed up the whole concept at one point, like with camels and everything. Then it dropped down to Modern Warfare 3. Then after that, it went completely haywire. That doesn't have a replay value if you think about it. If you have, like in Call of Duty Ghost, if you have 30 coins and you do prestige, you have 30 coins. Basically, you can buy the strongest weapon or your favorite weapon with your favorite attachments and your favorite perks. At that point, you're, you're pretty set. You really don't have to worry about anything. And again, that's that's one thing that Destiny doesn't have. It has high replay value. It really does in so many different ways. If you want a strong gun, you better you keep choosing that gun, or you better go back to this uh, the explore mode or single player and, and unlock it. If you actually want some really good attachments, you better keep firing and using that gun. If not, you're really not going to gain anything for it. If you want better grenades, if you want a better special, if you want all these type of things, you have to keep using it. Like for prime example, the way by little burst rifle that charges up looks it didn't look like this i had to consistently keep using that to get so many kills with it and it doesn't even tell you how many kills you have to get it just make when you get killed you see the little circle going up uh i still had my first grenade i didn't unlock anything else my melee didn't go up yet and so even after this game i'm going to continue to fight to get the, the grenades i want to get the melee i want it's just so much you can do no matter how you look at it this game has high replay value 
Now, when it comes to next gen, guys, I will say this is the first next gen game I have played that has high replay value. I have not played no other game that has high replay value. Um, I sampled a little bit of Sniper. Multiplayer messes up a lot. It's really nothing you can play to get from the multiplayer wise, at least, the high replay value. You play Madden, you play Call of Duty, you play Battle. Well, Battle, you know what Battlefield. Yeah, I'm gonna switch up. No, Battlefield still has a very low replay value at the end of the day. Unless you have premium like I do, it's pretty fun to unlock different weapons. But at the same time, it kind of gets the same when you're not playing with the team. It's born when you're playing by yourself. So, you know, the only game I've played so far with a high replay value is, has been, Destiny. And it, I, this is the, I had the Alpha. I kept playing the Alpha. I never stopped playing the Alpha. Then I had the Beta, <laughs> just like I have now, and I cannot stop playing the Beta. The Beta is pretty addictive. The game is pretty addictive. Um, uh, you know, even when I get to the top level, when I max everything out, as you see, I just got to upgrade. Um, it, it's going to be like, okay, it's going to be like, whatever, well, you know, I get to the max level, but I haven't fully maxed out my character, that's what I want to do, I want to get to the point that I can say, hey, listen, I'm going to fully max out my character, that's where I want to be, I want to get all the grenades you could possibly have with this character, I want to get all, you know, basically change his finisher up, like, the finisher to do different things with this character, that's what I have to do, and right now, if you see, in this gameplay, I'm like a seven and a half, but right now, I'm like an eight, and I did unlock those new grenades, I did unlock the new special, but then I still have another level to go. So to me, it has a high replay value. It takes a lot of gun game and it takes teamwork. Um, another thing I do like about Destiny, to be honest with you, if you look at the past games that basically use surround sound headsets or things of that nature, it doesn't utilize the sound correctly. I will say in Destiny, it actually uses the sound pretty good. I have a 7.1 surround sound. So if I'm playing Call of Duty for prime example, Only somebody's running in the left. back of me. I cannot lost. hear directly in my back left or my back right channel. What I hear is coming out my left front or my left side. It doesn't happen. Um, things like, you know, games like that really messes up, such as Battlefield at the same time. If a tank is driving past me, secure. I can hear it perfectly going from the back if it comes from the right going from my right back channel all the way to the front then to the center it's, it's perfect but certain things like when people are running i cannot necessarily hear it you know is you hear footsteps but you don't know where they're coming from which is pretty cool what the thing about destiny is when it comes to sound effects you can kind of hear where they're coming from left right back front it doesn't matter it utilizes it perfectly so right now i'm not going to say destiny is going to be a perfect game but if you're a per type of person like me that like playing uh rpg style type games if you like something with high replay value you're really going to enjoy destiny even if you hate, hate halo it doesn't play like halo um my brother said it feels like a crisis or it plays like a crisis i have no clue where he got that from but uh it, to, it doesn't it, it really doesn't i i think it feels like his own type of game the way they utilize everything is uh you they utilize it pretty Zone well, and as you see, I'm really owning this game. Like most of my games, I try to get more captures than anything. A lot of people care about KD, but I don't. At the end of the day, it's all about maintaining and winning. Enemy so, yeah, guys, if you do got the Destiny beta again, make sure you send me a friend request, man. This game is freaking awesome, hands down. It really is. I I, I love the game. I enjoy it. No, no matter what. So I cannot really wait. But how, I don't even have no clue how you even missed that. I cannot wait until the game actually comes out. Um, so I can give my full multiplayer review on Destiny. I, I'm serious because that's what I want to do. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up, please. Really do appreciate the thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. I just started this new channel. So if you see really no videos up, that is the reason why. My old channel has been going left and right. It's It's been weird. I contact YouTube about it. And I believe it's a frequent known issue. And I give you a prime example. It's like, it's a, Dwayne, you gained like 150 subscribers this month, but then you lost like 270. And I was like, is that even possible? And I contacted YouTube and I was like, hey, am I really losing as many subscribers? And this is where it gets weird because um, a couple of my friends that subscribed to me will call me and say, hey, Dwayne, you're not, you know, have you put any new videos up? And I said, yeah, why? They say, well, on our end, it doesn't show that. It Heavy says basically you're available. unsubscribed. So then when they subscribe to me again, it pops up as another subscription. And then a, a, a couple of days later, it basically unsubscribed them. So I uh, asked one of my friends that also do YouTube, was this uh, issue with him as well? And he said no. Really. So I think it's just first thing my YouTube channel. I contact uh, YouTube about it. 
there's really nothing they say is a frequent issue. Nothing they can really look into, so it kind of stinks. I'm going to keep both channels, but I'm really going to try to build around this channel again. Hopefully start off fresh, start off new, and see how things turn out to be. So, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe, and make sure you stay tuned to more daily videos. I'm serious, guys. I try to upload every two to three days, because upload every day with certain games is kind of crazy. But I'm going to try to do that. It all depends on what you all want, because I do it for you. And not only because I, I just love to do multiplayer gaming in general. I love it. So, again, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to go ahead and play the rest of this gameplay for you, because it's Destiny. It's, it's pretty good. This is just my overview. This is this my is overview. Fight. It's a massacre. Ha. Again, appreciate it, guys. I'm out. Peace. Only one minute left. Zone C lost. 